so hi i'm amita today at cipher uh, spoke about how um, we can internalize the external data organizations can adopt uh, external data keep it in a central repository how it is becoming almost a part of uh, every use case that we are doing and how we are able to continuously have a flow of external data ready for all the use cases that we are doing and what are the sources. So uh, the, it was a very interesting um, set of audience and we discussed uh, various things around uh, how do we internalize external data. I would say uh, uh, if I look at it this way that um, uh, AI algorithms, ML algorithms, um, how to drive that AI solution, that is already set. I think the key trend which is um, I see coming up or now prevalent is the mid layer. How are human, um, humans are translating or adding that layer, what we call a overlay on top of the AI solutions. How are we enabling humans to use AI solutions. I think that layer is gradually becoming, whether it's forecasting, whether it's supply chain, whether it's marketing, that human layer being codified to use um, AI solution is the key trend, uh, I would say, uh, emerging out. So I think what, what one interesting approach could be what we call an MVP approach, right? Um, the best way of scaling, and I think the biggest hindrance which uh, organizations face uh, is the adoption cycle. So AI solution is a black box, if, if I would put it that way. It is supposed to do a machine's job. It's supposed to be very accurate. One, two important things that organizations can do. One is how do we add an explainability layer? How do we add a layer which will make it more uh, human for humans to understand how do we make sure an MVP model where you know um, we start with a prototype evangelize about it adopt it in the organization show impact show how much incremental value it is adding and then scale it up and the models uh, you we very interestingly can use some MLOps model to make sure those kind of AI solutions can be scaled up um, very seamlessly after the buy-in has happened in the organization at a large extent. Right. I've been associated with Cypher um, with, uh, you know, for, for a long time now. And I think uh, it's one of those places where analytics fraternity and analytics leaders come in, which is a actually has an impact not only for the data science fraternity, but the adjacencies like tech ecosystem, um, IT players, um, you know, we saw Google being here. So there's a lot of um, uh, other adjacencies who actually get impacted due to such events because key trends emerge and key trends uh, which are being talked about and adopted will have a wave um, you know, uh, towards what kind of techs, uh, tech is getting adopted, what kind of algorithms are getting adopted, what kind of assets are being used. So I think uh, a lot of the, the entire uh, industry fraternity, if I would say, will highly get benefited and looking forward to the key trends myself, like, you know, got a few new interesting ideas out here. So uh, best of luck to Cypher, uh, was a great time.